Hi, this is Karen Fraser Middleton uh, with marketing for the CCC Maker Initiative. And with us today, we have Ronnie Roper. He's the UX designer for iTool. And we're going to be going over um, managing your makerspace information on the CCC Maker website. And this one is about how to add graphics, the college logo, your makerspace logo, and the featured image. So I'll turn it over to you, Ronnie. All right, sounds good. So I'm going to switch over to my screen. All right, so we should see the Makerspace dashboard. Yes, that's what I see. And from here, um, in order to start managing the content inside of your space, which again, just a quick recap, I'm gonna pop over to the Sierra College Makerspace on the front end. We're talking about editing the information that's on this page. So this logo that shows up here, and then as well as when this profile shows up from this page, which is showing all the makerspaces, all the colleges, then we're talking also, we're gonna to refer to this image, and then as well, the college logo shows up again as well. So where to do that, where to customize those. So I wanna go over on the left and click Spaces, and then your space will be the next title that shows up. So you can either click on the title or when you hover over, you get an edit, quick edit or a view, but you wanna go ahead and click the edit button or the title itself. And then once this next section loads up, you're going to see one, two, three, four, five tabs here. And we're just specifically talking about the first tab, profile graphics. As you see, there's the college logo here. There's a spot to add a makerspace logo, which I'm going to add that and show you how it affects the front end. And then space of the day. So space of the day, again, this is the image that shows up here when this, when your space shows up at the top. Again, this is not something that is manually set. It's a randomized, um, it's a randomized selection for this space and it holds that for 24 hours and then a new space is, is put there. So when yours does show up, then you need to make sure that it's the photo that you want everybody to see. And then um, you've got some of the right information in here, which we'll talk about in, in another video. But as far as the Makerspace logo goes, let's add something right now, because there's a couple little things that I wanna cover. When you're adding an image or adding some content to your space, you're uploading it to a library or you're pulling from an existing, uh, maybe something else that you've uploaded before. So you're pulling from, from other things that are in the library that already exist. And one nice little trick that's gonna be, help you to speed up some of the process is this little drop down right here. You wanna select the uploaded to this space option because if you don't, as you can see, I have a bunch of photos in here. And these are all from all of the spaces. So it's, it's basically the entire library of, of what's been uploaded. Um, each individual space cannot modify anything that they have not themselves uploaded. So if me, myself, if I did not upload this picture, I can't click on it and edit that or delete it. But technically I can select it and use it if I wanted to inside of a post or inside of my profile somehow. But specifically what we're talking about is let's, is the Makerspace logo. I know I've uploaded a logo to this space already. So I'm gonna select this drop down. I'm only going to see the library of the items in this library that I myself have uploaded. And I'm going to select this particular logo to feature as the Makerspace logo. And I'm going to hit this update button in the top in the upper right corner here. I'm gonna show where that, I'm gonna refresh and show where that shows up on your profile. 
Okay, so hopping over to the profile, I'm gonna refresh. And notice there's no logo underneath the college logo, but now the logo that I selected is listed underneath the college logo. So Sierra is unique in the fact that it has multiple locations. I'm going to take this one off, but most of the spaces listed on this website, is you, it'll work. You're gonna have a college logo and you're gonna have the Makerspace logo. So I'll go back, simply hover over this. You see these different icons show up when I hover over and I'm gonna hit the X and then again, update button. Seems pretty straightforward once you actually get in here and start using it. And especially if you're familiar with WordPress, then, um, then it's pretty, pretty So, simple. Ronnie, is there a way to uh, preview and see how it's going to look? Um, you can. What I like to do is I like to have two tabs open, and then I can switch between the tabs. So that way I'm not, I'm not, um, when you could preview, if I select that logo again, Again, filtering only what I have uploaded. Select the logo. There is a preview button up in here, which this, this works pretty well for blog posts because when you're making edits and changes to a post, then, um, let's see, it actually, since this is so customized, I don't know if, yeah, this needs to save first. But for blog posts, it'll work really well. But for this particular profile, since um, it's built in such a way, I don't think the preview is actually working for it. Okay, so it sounds like after you load up the logo, you should always hit update right away so that you make sure that it's saved. And if for some reason something goes wrong, you can easily go back to this page and hover over it and just click the X, which would remove it, and you could reload something else. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So... I'm going to delete that and then update. Um, another, another point on this particular page is this featured image over here on the right. That affects this page here. And let me specifically scroll down to Sierra. So Sierra has this picture in there for their logo. If I was to take this out, I just hit the remove featured image, and now this is set featured image. So I want to set a different image. And maybe I select, um, let's say, maybe I want this picture right here of Hacker Lab, or I want this other picture to show up. Then I'm going to set this featured image hit update, and then once I refresh, then I see there's that image there. There's specific little croppings that are kind of nuances with this space, so um, plus I wouldn't advise to put a photo necessarily in there because it is kind of nice to see all of the um, all of the different logos on here of everybody who's participating. But one thing I wanted to show you how easy it is to change this, how it is featured, because if you do have a logo that is makerspace specific, or, and again, example of Sierra College, it has makerspaces below it, then, and we're not using the correct one because we loaded up all these logos. So if we're not using the correct one and you do have a specific one that you want to use, then you have to make sure that you set it on the featured image spot as well as the college logo area on the left as well. And then once you update, then it shows here where all the colleges are listed and then it also shows on your profile. And we've actually created um, CCC Maker logos for each college if you want to use that for your makerspace. 
And in the graphics video, we're going to be showing you how you would um, get to those graphics. But um, if you'd like to have, like Sierra College, has, they've created their own Makerspaces logo. But to save you time, we've created um, a logo that you can use that shows your affiliation with the CCC Maker with your college name on it. All right. So, so I think that's it, isn't it, for graphics? Yeah, next we'll, the next video we'll be going into is how to edit the about information on your profile. So look for that one next. Okay, thanks.